University Health Network is a, an association of a number of the large teaching hospitals of the University of Toronto. The hospitals each have their own individual profile, but the organization has one uh, administrative uh, group and the organization works as a single comprehensive unit. Being under, uh, under one umbrella organization uh, facilitates uh, communication through an integrated uh, communication network, electronic patient record, laboratory information system, etc. Uh, so that exchange of information within the organization itself can be seamless uh, regardless of uh, geographic location. Our belief is that a high quality pathology and lab medicine program should be available to patients no matter where they live. And every patient in the province of Ontario should not have to come to Toronto to have their pathology read by an expert in the field. Our partnerships allow us to provide equitable access to very high quality laboratory medicine and pathology to patients who live across this province, even in the remote areas of northern Ontario. The main driver for our implementation of digital pathology at University Health Network relates to the fact that we are a multi-site institution. You do not need to move the pathologist to where the slides are, nor do you need to move the slides to where the pathologist is. You use digital links based on the internet and the slide scanning technology to generate the necessary slides for a pathologist to review. The patient at a remote site can stay in their site and proceed with further diagnostic or even therapeutic management. This can be done uh, once you are outside the institution, a hundred miles away or 5,000 miles away in a developing nation. This is universally available in modern technology and depends on the bilateral expertise of the clinician and the pathologist. The impact of molecular genetics is really expanding in terms of its application to all areas of medicine. The impact is especially evident in pathology where we're able to uh, analyze tissues using these technologies and derive a lot of information. It allows us to get information about response to therapy, um, diagnostic information, prognostic information, information about predisposition to disease. So it really allows us to get a lot of information that pertains to patient care. Our focus is on integration of information at every level. Our pathologists serve as true consultants, integrating all of the information that derives from all of those different tests and providing the clinician with a report that not only gives them the diagnosis, but also offers information about prognosis and predicts the appropriate route of therapeutic uh, approach for that patient. I make myself available for the patient if they have some questions. I think we have a responsibility as pathologists to offer our patients some advice and or some clarification about the report, thus make their life much easier. Our patients are not a piece of glass with some tissue on it. Our patients are real people. Some patients don't want to, to know ab about the disease, but in my case, I really needed to know some of the answers. I'm quite a curious individual, but I felt um, if I had some of the information, I'd feel more control of my, my disease path and treatment option. I'm not just a collection of, of malignant cells on somebody's table. I'm actually a person that I was actually to, able to meet with the pathologist. I thought that was incredible because beforehand in my you know previous years experience with these this disease, there you know the pathologist is just a report that comes to me and any questions I have, I had nobody to turn to to ask about those types of uh, um, questions on the on the report. So to be able to have access to somebody, I thought that was incredible. We're so lucky to be situated in this, in this uh, city that we can actually access such a world-class team of professionals. Not everybody has that access, so uh, it'd be lovely if, if that could spread to other locations and we hope in the future that that will be the case. Pathology is really the heart of the diagnostic process. And as such, pathology is really also the heart of personalized medicine. Pathology has come from a place where we were a laboratory in the basement with clinicians who were hiding behind the scenes and were not known by their patients, to a specialty where we are implementing molecular diagnostics, we are determining which samples and which patients will respond to the newest drugs that are available. We have the future in our hands and we are forming what we believe the future of pathology should be.